What's up, party people? Do you enjoy your Monday off? I hope that you did. Can you believe it's the last week of the quarter? And then you're going to be here, hopefully. Um, but we just want to look at three things with you today. We want to look at how to find slope from a graph, slope from a table, and slope from two points. This should be a review. You've been doing this in seventh grade, so I think you'll rock it out of the park. So the first one, station one, this is right here. Station one, finding slope from a graph. You're just going to, you can either write the slope or you're going to take a text box and enter the slope for one, two, three, and four. Yours do not hopefully look this, um, the graphics are like so pixelated on mine. Mr. Snyder's look totally fine and Mr. Cridges look totally fine. So I'm hoping it's something to do with my computer. Um, but we'd like for you to take this link right here. So you're going to copy this. Control C, you're going to open a new browser, Control V, press enter, and you're going to watch this one minute video. That's all it is. This is an ad. Don't worry about that. So you're going to watch that one minute video and then you're going to do these four. A few reminders when we're looking at slope. When we're talking about slope, we want to see is this graph increasing? Is it decreasing? So this first one is increasing, right? It's going up. If it's going up, then we know the slope's going to be positive. It's going up and to the right. Those are both positive directions. And then we're just going to count the rise over the run. Okay, so please watch that video. The second one is finding slope from a table. So this should not be very difficult either. We're looking at the change in Y over the change in X. So when we're looking at the change in Y, so here we have plus 3, plus 3, plus, what's going on here? Mm. Oh, but wait a minute, I see it go plus one, plus one, and then I see it do plus two. So imagine if a three was in there, okay? So this right here is plus six. So that means that if we had a three right here, we would also have the number, what would it be? Yeah, it would be 10, which would be plus three, plus three, and here again, plus three. First of all, I noticed that it's constant rate of change, right? So, and all of these are are constant. We're just talking about linear. So right now we don't have to really do this to figure out, is this linear, is it not? We know these functions we're giving you are linear, but to figure out if it's linear, you would do this. So here we see the rate of change. The change in Y is three, the change in X is one. So the slope would be three over one. All right, and you would, you're gonna do the same thing for these two, okay? The other thing that we could have done here, if we didn't do any of that, we could have simply picked two points. This is a table, right? So this, this represents two points on a graph. So we could have just picked this one, and we could have picked this one. Or if you prefer these two, you could do those two, okay? So we could do the change in y again over the change in x and we'll get into the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 um, on the next slide but that's simply what you're doing here right you could do y2 which is 4 minus 1 which is 4 minus 1 is 3 1 minus 0 is 1 so 3 over 1 same thing here 16 minus 13 is 3 four, 5 minus 4 is 1 so 3 over 1 well, what if i did 1 minus 4 one minus four is negative three, and zero minus negative, excuse me, zero minus one is negative one. So let's look at that. One minus four is negative three over zero minus one is negative one. Well, we know that a negative divided by negative is a positive, so I'm still gonna get that slope of three. Okay, and even if we would have done it here where we have some different, it looks a little different because we see the table move up by two, we could do, 13 minus 7, which would give us, what would it give you? 6. And we could do 4 minus 2, which would give us 2. What's 6 divided by 2? It's 3. Or we could do the other way. 7 minus 13 would just give us negative and a negative, and that would be 3. So please use this to do this ne these next two problems as well. And then there's going to be one more video to watch doing it with two ordered pairs.